Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wembley Golf Course this afternoon, the Ambrose Estates. Lovely to have you all here. I wonder if you could have a trial run by giving a great welcome to the groom, Don, and his groomsmen, Jerry and Tim. And Hamptons in City Beach has been a very special place in their story. It's where they went for a meal on their first date and then on the night of their engagement. And they found many occasions to laugh together. And one time was on the night of the 18th of November 2020 after they'd had dinner at Hamptons. We have a house, but that house is the family home that they've established together at Cardinia. And in the time that they've been a couple, they've traveled to places like Hong Kong, Macau, Kuala Lumpur, Vietnam and the Philippines. Now since the time that they met and fell in love, Don and Penn have formed a very strong friendship and they've learned much about each other. When life has dealt you a bad hand, mother, you've managed to push through it and turn it around into something that would work in your favour. You're such a hard-working machine, going through incredible hours, but yet still have the energy to go for a cheeky night, a cheeky Tuesday night salsa dance. And mum, I can't describe you anything less than Dwayne Johnson, because you have been the rock that has been holding me and Cassandra together for so many years. But mum, you've always wanted the best for me. Tuck you in tight. And mum, before I start to get emotional, I just want you to know that I am forever grateful for everything that you've done for Scott and I in our life. You raised us alone since we were nine and seven, and I know it was difficult, or I know that we were difficult at times as well. <laughs> um, I will never be able to repay you for allowing us to grow up in a world of endless possibilities, so thank you so much for your sacrifice and your love. We're not a family who expresses their emotions too much, but I hope that you know how lucky Scott and I are to call you mum. The day has come Something borrowed, something blue Something old or something new You've got it on my dear It's hard to let go, but I know you're in good hands. Mom, you're the most loving woman alive. Seeing you and Don together has showed me that love is so special and that it can come from anywhere at a moment's notice. It's so amazing to see both of you guys being the picture perfect couple that I and I I wouldn't be in this happy without without a lot of the optimism that you guys have thrown out of me whenever I need it. I know you guys are going to flourish and become the, the beautiful, happy couple that you have already been for so long. But over the time that we've all spent together, I know more than ever that nobody is better suited for mum than Don. It was a sign to be. It was a good sign from the beginning. I really admire your patience, but most of all, I love watching how happy you two make each other. You have shown my mum happiness after years of struggle, and I'm forever grateful to you for that, so thank you. Don shared with me his feelings about why Penn is so special to him. He told me, Penn has brought something into my life which I thought I could never have. I wasn't sure if I would ever know what it is like to love somebody and accept them into my life, but Penn has changed all of that. She's made me very happy. We laugh together every day. She's feminine, caring, a hard worker, a devoted mum, passionate, joyful, and someone who loves life. She puts her children above all else. I know now what it is like to put somebody else's happiness above my own. Don is the most honest, caring, loving person I have ever met. He's funny and cute, sometimes annoying, but he always makes me smile. He treats me and my children very well. 
He's the most understanding and patient person, a very kind and honest guy. And I believe them, because I know he is that guy. He shows me and makes me feel every day his kindness, honesty and his love. And their dedication to each other has grown really strong during all that time. And they've decided to formalise their union by becoming husband and wife today. Ben, today I take my place as your husband. May our days together be long and may they be seasoned with faith, love, understanding and respect forever and ever. Today is the beginning of the rest of our lives. I choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. So I, Donald Neil Meredith, call upon the people who are present here today to witness that I take you, Josephine McLean, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. Don, today I take my place as your wife. May our days together be long and may they be seasoned with faith, love, understanding and respect it's forever and ever. Today is the beginning of the rest of I'm our lives. I chose to spend today and all of my tomorrows with you. So I, Josephine McLean, call upon the people who are present here today to witness that I take you, Donald Neil Meredith, to be my lawful wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love. Oh, oh, oh. I'm falling in love. Oh, oh, oh. It's pretty extravagant to see you guys so happy and in love. The momentum that Don has brought to our family has given us so much positivity and to be completely honest, I'm so glad to have you here with us. I'm so grateful that you have integrated yourself into our lives and given us a sense of not a normalcy that we would never thought we would find again. From bringing back sitting, sitting at the dinner table when grubs up to keeping a smile on mom's face 99% of the time, the 1% being when you bring out the old chestnut of the upstairs bar scenario. <laughs> Don, firstly, I ask you, Don, do you take Penn to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to love and respect her, comfort her, honour and protect her in sickness and in health? Do you promise to be honest with her and forsaking all others, keep only to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Penn, do you take Don to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise to love and respect him, comfort him, honour and protect him in sickness and in health? Do you promise to be honest with him and forsaking all others, keep only to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. May the occasion be all you want it to be. Mum, Dad and Grant are looking down and smiling on you both. Secondly, we're thinking of you and believe the best years lie ahead for you and Penn. Love always, Ross and Raywin. May you all please raise your glass and join me in toasting Don and Penn Meredith. Round of applause, well done, well done, Michelle. But Don and Penn, your love for each other is a very special gift and it's one that only each of you can give to the other. So your love should provide for you a mutual enrichment, a give and take between each of your two personalities. So can I encourage you to always take an interest in the other one's happiness and well-being? Because it's in this way that you will share a bond of understanding that will grow stronger and more treasured with all of the passing years. But remember too that it does take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn and to grow, 
even when sometimes it might be difficult to do so. Too many years of loved and cherished memories. In conclusion, I'd just like to say welcome to the family, Don. You are most def definitely someone I'd, I'd find ease with to have around. And now, could everyone please raise a glass to once again congratulate these two on a new beginning. I wish you all the best in life and in marriage. So can everyone please raise their glasses? If you're game enough, drink the full glass. <laughs> Thank you. To Don and Josephine. <laughs> Papa and Dad would be really chuffed today. And it's really special that I get to say that. I wish you both all the joys of a wonderful life together. May today be the start of a wonderful journey together and may every path you take always lead to happiness. And that will remind us how important those qualities of support, trust and friendship are in our own relationships with each other. And because of the relationship that you share, they know that they can count on your love and support and friendship as they enter married life. And last but certainly not least, everyone, warm welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Meredith! Ready to fall. and in challenging times. I want to stand with you. Take this ring as a sign of my love. And my commitment to you. And I accept this ring with honour. Don, I will wear this ring with honour. And I am proud to be your husband. Proud to be your wife. Ready to fall